What's up, my fellow sneakerheads? This is Sneaker Resident Benjamin Scott. Welcome to a brand new episode of Sneaker Jams Rebound. And on today's new episode, I have here a very special guest. She is one of my fellow models from the Black Fashion Awards last year. And here she is right now. This is Tia Marie. How are you doing, Tia? Hey, I'm doing good. Excellent, excellent. How's 2024 going for you? Mm, pretty good so far. It's been up and down. It's like a roller coaster. It's like up here and down here. But I'm yeah. just trying to stay afloat through it all. So. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, we all got to start somewhere. Yeah. We just got to start from the beginning and just work things slow to the top. Yeah every day. So, tell me, how did you get interested in modeling? Oh, uh, it was about 2020. I was working at McDonald's at the time, so I was like working a drive through and I was telling like my coworkers, I'm like, yeah, I really want to get into modeling and stuff like that. I want to, I was kind of seeing where I wanted to be, but I didn't know I was going to end up there. So I started out doing test shoots, little mm -hmm. like putting outfits together, doing photo shoots just around the neighborhood and stuff like that. Then out of nowhere, I kind of get into, I started getting into casting calls and then runway. Then I got published in like two, three magazines. So it's like it all happened kind of quick. But it just, it just kind of, it blew my mind because it's like I was just talking about this and now I'm, I'm doing it. So it was just trippy. Hey, that's dope. That's dope. Hey, we all gotta start somewhere. We just gotta crack down that shell and get into the world of modeling, just like I did nine years ago. And here I am now. I did about 47 runway shows. Even walked in 47 runway shows. Now, that's a record that's I've That's a enjoyed. record. Mm -hmm. That's a record. That's a record. Oh, my gosh. 47? 47. You wrong. <laughs> hey, I've been opening up doors for everybody. That's Even crazy. though I may have a little bit of autism, but it does not stop me. Just showing everybody. It doesn't matter if we have autism or any kind of disability because we are human beings and we can still make our dreams come true. Absolutely. Just, just remember, you can make a difference because we can all be independent every day. Now, what sneakers are you wearing today? We like to see what you're, what you're, what you're kicking. These. Ooh, the Spelman Air Jordan 1s. Yeah. And blue is also my favorite color. Too, folks. Well, How'd okay. you get them? I was shopping at DTLR. DTLR. That's a store? Yeah, right before they closed down. I'm so sad they Ooh. closed down because I love them. I love their shoes. So I just got these. Normally I spend like a nice little high chunk change when it comes to buying my shoes, but I recently got these at like a cheaper price. So I'm like, okay, cool. Okay. So I was fine with that. That's dope. That's really dope. When you're a sneakerhead, you got to make sure you got to save up. You gotta have a good budget. And once you have a good budget, make sure that the sneakers you're going after and you save enough money, get them. And keep your shoes clean, y'all. Make these shoes are expensive. They are not kick around shoes. They are sneakers. Like real they facts. Are, real they are facts. not kick around shoes. You gotta know real, where to shop. Real facts. You can go to Nike, you can mm -hmm. go to DTLR, you can go to Snipes, you can go to Kick So Fly, you can go to um it's, it's a bunch of other, like, shoe st stock acts. You can bid on different shoes and stuff like that. Just be careful where y'all go. Some shoes run bigger than others. And keep them clean. I don't care if you got to scrub your Jordans with a toothbrush. Just keep them clean. Because you be paying all this money for these shoes just to get them dirty real quick. That's not fair. Hey, she's right about that, y'all. She's absolutely right about that. You got to keep your sneakers clean. You do not want to get them dirty. You got to keep them fresh. And, um, and all of that, just be yourself. Yes. Because casual sneakers are the best in the fashion industry. You can dress up, you can dress down. Yeah. And if you can't be yourself, well, <laughs> nobody can accept you. Yeah. And we mean that for real. When we mean for real, oh, baby, we mean for real. For real, for real. Shoot, remember. No questions asked. Man, don't, clothes don't make the man. Man, make the clothes, baby. Don't exactly. sit there and get a new pair of shoes and think exactly. you better than. Stay humble with your <laughs> shoes. Buddy. Exactly. For real. Now, I always ask my guests this question. Would you consider casual sneakers over dress shoes? Hell yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, I do. I, 
if I had the option to wear gym shoes, some J's, or some heels, or any type of dress shoe, I'm gonna choose gym shoes every time. They're comfortable, and they look nice. And I ain't gonna lie, if you dress up your gym shoes the right way, you could really wear them any kind of way. Like some nice dress pants, a dress shirt, you could dress them up any kind of way. That's the greatest thing about Jordans. You can, I don't know, have a little style if you wanna go to church, or you can like, I don't know, dress them up in a game of basketball. You could really wear them any kind of way though. That's the wrong part. True that. True that. That's real facts for a real sneakerhead. I like her. <laughs> for real, I like her. How did you get into autism awareness as well? Um. Well, I have an autistic niece. Okay. So dealing with that, being her aunt, um, I think it's really important that I kind of dive into autism awareness one so I can learn more about it. I follow people on TikTok who have autism, like family members and children, and I kind of see what they do. You know, I kind of see how they tend to them, um, what they feed their kids, what they have their kids watch, just so I can kind of know, okay, well, when it comes to my niece, this is what I do. Okay, this is what I don't do. Really just trying to learn what autism is so I can cater to it better. Not only that, it isn't, it isn't even just the fact that I have an autistic niece, but it's just the fact that, one, I have asthma, I got my own disabilities as well. And I'm always caring towards people with like special needs and stuff like that. I don't ever treat nobody different just because you got autism or you got Down syndrome or something like that. I don't, I don't see how people could be mean to people with disabilities like that. That's not cool. I'm not a fan of that at all. So That's true. That's yeah. very, very, very true. Even yours truly, I have autism and had it since I was a little boy. It was hard for me to control, but when I got older and older and older and older, I learned how to control it. Yeah. Because this is our superpower, and we're smarter than that. I'm more brain functioning. I'm fully functioning. And I've met a lot of people who is who has Down syndrome, who has Asperger's syndrome, but you know what? They're proud of who they are. And even I'm proud of who I am. Even her niece is proud of who she is. That's why we have to share our story yeah. to everybody. Let's come together. Let's spread the message and share the story to everybody yeah. about autism awareness. No doubt about that. That's why I'm an autism ambassador and I've been doing this for nine damn years since mm -hmm. 2015. Mm -hmm. No doubt. And I'm proud of it. 100% proud of it. And guys, since this is our episode, I have a little something for my guests right here. So hold on just a minute. What do you got for me? Yeah. Yes. For being a great support for autism, I present to you my puzzle piece for autism speaks. Thank you. This is cute. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> That's cute. why cute little puzzle piece. she is now an ambassador for autism speaks, like me. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This is cute. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, loving it, loving it. Cute little button. I don't know, I just really want to learn more about it. Just so, I mean, this world, unfortunately, we live in like a very mean and cruel world. So I really want to teach my niece, like, no matter who you come across, you're going to always have to be you. No matter who you come across, no matter who says what to you, no matter who treats you like what, well, you special in your own dang old way. Like, you ain't got to worry about nobody else and what they doing. Just focus on you and keep you happy, honestly. Because it's like... This world is just too mean. Like, the world is just too mean. So it's like, I wanna make sure I be that light and that happiness for her, if that makes sense. Real facts, that's real facts. Even though the world is not a good place to live, but this is the best time for us to share our story. No doubt about that. Now, do you have any plans coming up this year? Yeah, got some runway shows planned. Um, I eventually want to start speaking at these events more about autism. Yeah. So hopefully I can get into some of that more. Also, I want to get a little bit more into acting. It's a, it's a lot I want to do. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot to do. You I just got to take it one step at a time. Yeah. Just do one thing. Don't rush it. Slow it down. Okay? Just do one thing, and then when you're done with that, then you move on to the next one. 
and then the next one, and then the next one, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on Sneaker Jams. Where can we find you on social media? Well, y'all can follow me on Instagram at Tia Marie Modeling. Um, you can find me on TikTok at Tia Marie Modeling. I don't use Twitter, but yeah, y'all can follow me on there for more updates and to keep up with what I got going on. Awesome, awesome. You can check out yours truly on Facebook under my name, Benjamin Scott. Also on Instagram at Benjamin.Scott. And also on YouTube under Benjamin Scott Sneaker Jams. That's J A M Z, not S. Z. <laughs> now, if you want to know <laughs> which casual sneakers will I show you on Sneaker Jams, or better yet, which special guest like Tia here, who can come on Sneaker Jams. What do you think? Sound good. Okay, okay. Sound good. Well, that's for us to know and you to find out. So stay tuned to the next episode. <laughs> and before we go, you have a very important message to everybody out there who has autism and wants to get into the modeling world like you. Well, first thing I'm going to say, why is my phone going on? But don't let nothing stop y'all. If you got autism, Down syndrome, if you can't see, hear, read, don't let none of that stop you. At the end of the day, life is too short to sit there and not let any like any little thing stop you from achieving your dreams. Don't let nothing stop you at the end of the day. I don't care if you got fake friends, fake family members, people trying to hold you back. Achieve your dreams. Literally, you only got one life to live. If God wanted you to have two lives, they would let He would let you live your life and let other people let you live other people's life. Live your life for you. You can get into modeling, you could be a painter, you could be an architect for crying out loud. Like, do what you want to do, honestly. Do what makes you happy. I always teach that to people. Like, do what makes you happy. If it ain't harming nobody else, then just do what makes you happy, honestly. I love that. I love that. Those are the words from Tia Marie. Well, thank you so much for coming on Sneaker Jams. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Please come on back anytime. Bye. And as always, this is Sneaker Resident Benjamin Scott with Tia Marie. We'll see y'all next time. So God bless y'all. Peace. And always remember, lace them up and kick it with Sneaker Jams. And also, Support Autism Awareness every day. Later.